there was this time I have so many materials to study for a particular course and I was so frustrated that come on how will I finish reading all these things how will I even be able to assimilate this thing and actually remember at the end of the day and I was so confused not until I, I discovered some things and I was able to perform well in my exams and I'll be sharing with you that particular thing that I researched and if you apply it appropriately to whatever you are studying to enhance your understanding and be able to remember anything you study at any point in time but before I share with you the steps to take in order to remember everything you studied I would like to share with you why you could not remember anything you studied at any point in time the major reason why students find it so difficult to remember whatever they've studied is basically because of the fact that while they are trying to read that particular information you didn't put your, yourself in a situation whereby your brain will be able to encode those information appropriately in order for you to remember at one time or the other. I could remember a particular time when I was in the university, we were given several topics to prepare for a particular presentation. Due to the fact that I was not able to repeat the, the scripts I had to prepare for that presentation and my attitude towards it was not as good as it is and in fact i hated that topic so much and again i didn't repeat it over and over again then i found it difficult to remember and when i got to the presentation stage i was actually stammering not until i actually found solutions to all these things that i stated and i was able to to remember another scenario that i would like to share with you is, was when i was in my second year in the university at this point i actually repeated what i studied over time there's a significant problem that that actually caused me not to remember what i studied and it's a simply lack of sleep i was just reading it over and over again and it got to a point that i didn't sleep throughout the night i went to the exam hall then i actually forgot everything everything just wiped off just like that now it was after some time i discovered that because i didn't sleep that was why i forgot everything i read so there are several problems that can cause why you could not remember what you studied your level of attention repetition lack of sleep and also your attitude towards what you are studying and your attitude is dependent on the value that you place on whatever you are studying let me explain the first one which is lack of attention now if you do not pay attention to whatever you are studying then it is a very high tendency that you will never remember what you studied because while you when you pay attention your brain tends to encode that information better and solidify that information into your brain and it will be very easy for you to recall it at any point in time but at any point in time where when you are reading it and you are distracted and you thought you've read it then whenever you are trying to remember it becomes so difficult and overwhelming so at any point in time try to pay attention to whatever you are studying another reason why you could not remember anything you study at any point in time is your attitude towards it is not good you don't like it so much and anytime you are trying to study it you are not paying attention and as a result of that you find it difficult to remember so your attitude towards what you are studying must be very good and you have to take into consideration the beliefs you have towards what you are studying and the value you have for it because the higher the value the higher the attention you place on it then and the more you'll be able to remember at any point in time another thing you need to take into consideration and the major reason why you could not remember anything you study at any point in time is lack of repetition. If you do not repeat whatever you study over time, you find it difficult to remember. If you think you read it once and you go to your exam or you go to your presentation and you'll be able to remember, you can't. You must have started preparing a long time and over a space period of time, you repeat over and over again then you'll be able to remember anything. It was this time I have so many materials to study for a particular course and I was so frustrated that, come on, how will I finish reading all these things? How will I even be able to assimilate this thing and actually remember at the end of the day? And I was so confused. Not until I, I discovered some things and I was able to perform well in my exams. And I'll be sharing with you that particular thing that I researched and if you apply it appropriately to whatever you are studying, 
to enhance your understanding and be able to remember anything you study at any point in time and what i actually did there was i started taking notes of anything i'm studying whenever i'm studying a particular thing no matter how voluminous it is i give it the first touch which is i skim through what i'm studying at a particular point after skimming through then i tend to jot down what i'm studying while i'm jotting this it enhances my level of attention while i'm doing this and it makes my brain focus on what i'm studying at that particular point so by the time when i was able to do that over time i kept doing it over time and it actually enhanced my level of understanding and it's i was able to retain more at that point so if you really want to remember what anything you've studied at any point in time if you try to jot down it will enhance your level of attention even you have distractions around you the fact that you are engaging with that material at that point and you are taking notes by the time you want to remember that particular thing you are doing it's very easy and straightforward because taking notes at that time enhanced your level of attention Another step you should take in order to remember anything you study is to talk to someone about what you studied. At any point in time when I study something, I meet some of my colleagues, I try to explain what I've studied to them at any point in time. While I'm doing that, I'm actually recalling what I've read. And at the same time, if I try to teach that particular concept that I've read to someone else, it's as a form of recall. I keep recalling it to myself and it's actually gives me more understanding on what i'm reading at that particular point so if you go through all these steps you'll be able to enhance your level of your level of retention and you'll be able to remember anything you studied at any point in time and a big takeaway that i'll be giving you in this video in order for you to remember anything you've studied is that i have a framework that works for me so well and, and i call it CART, which is c-a-r-t CART. C stands for concentration, A stands for association, R stands for repetition, and T stands for testing. Now, concentration, like I said earlier, one of the reasons why you could not remember what you studied is because of your level of attention. So if you can concentrate on what you are studying, then you'll be able to you'll be able to remember whatever you study. And another thing is association. Association is whenever you are trying to study something while you are taking notes, try to link it to what you've known before. At that process since you are linking it to what you already know before whenever you want to remember that particular thing you link it to if you can remember then the information pops up even without stressing yourself so if you do if you associate and you repeat over time and you also test yourself by asking yourself questions then it starts as a form of feedback and you'll be able to remember anything you read at any point in time so the framework is simply CAT, which is C-A-R-T, CAT. So if you apply this over a period of time, it will enhance your the level of retention and you'll be able to remember anything you read at any point in time. So if you got value from this video, please smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. And you can also check this other video on how you can memorize anything at any point in time. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you on the next one.